Hello, I am Matt Burson, Chief of the Professional Standards Division for the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. This critical incident briefing is intended to provide you with information about a deputy-involved shooting that occurred in the 1700 block of West Avenue K in the city of Lancaster. As part of this briefing, you will be shown photographs and video and learn about evidence from the scene. We hope this provides you with a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know as of this moment. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department conducts very thorough use of force investigations. Every deputy involved shooting is a traumatic event for all involved. Each deputy involved shooting is reviewed by independent investigative agencies to ensure compliance with the law and Sheriff's Department policy. Even as the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department conducts its own investigation, investigators and attorneys with the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office conduct their own independent review when someone is struck by gunfire. These investigations typically require multiple witness interviews, review of video footage, and analysis of a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are in the very early stages of this investigation. Our understanding of the incident may change as additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We do not draw conclusions about whether the involved department members acted consistent with the law, our policies, and our training until all the facts are known and the entire investigation is complete. A word of caution, the images and information you are about to see may be disturbing. When a law enforcement officer uses force to effect an arrest of a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. Viewer discretion is advised. This incident began on May 29, 2020 at approximately 7.49 p.m. when two deputies assigned to Lancaster Sheriff Station conducted a pedestrian stop near 1752 West Avenue K. The deputy saw Robert Melton Colvin, a 39-year-old transient from the Lancaster area walking west on the south sidewalk. The deputy recognized Colvin from previous contacts and had recently been told by a citizen that Colvin was in possession of a gun. The deputies also knew that Colvin was being supervised by the probation department after his release from prison. As deputies drove alongside Colvin to contact him, Colvin quickly turned and bladed his body to the deputies while he made a motion with his hands to the front of his waist area. Believing that he was arming himself, the passenger deputy quickly exited the patrol vehicle and wrapped his arms around Colvin's chest to control his arms. The driver deputy exited and saw that Colvin was holding a handgun in his right hand. The driver deputy yelled gun and grabbed hold of Colvin to assist, but Colvin continued to struggle in an attempt to break free. During the struggle, the deputies lost their balance while being forced backwards by Colvin. To create distance, the passenger deputy pushed Colvin away while falling back to the ground. Once Colvin was free, he began to turn toward the passenger deputy with the handgun and a deputy involved shooting occurred. The deputies fired a combined total of 12 rounds at Robert Colvin. Colvin was struck by the gunfire, fell to the ground, and was taken into custody. Deputies requested assistance via their radio and began life-saving measures on Robert Colvin. Los Angeles County Fire Department paramedics responded to the scene to provide emergency medical treatment. Colvin was transported to Antelope Valley Hospital where he was ultimately pronounced dead. Although no video captured the entire incident, bystanders provided video from the scene of the shooting. These videos began after the shooting had already occurred and will now be played for your review. Robert Colvin sustained a total of eight gunshot wounds to his torso and upper extremities. Deputies recovered the pistol that Colvin had in his hand and determined that it was a pellet gun and secured it as evidence. No deputies or other civilians were injured in the incident. 
Investigators recovered the black metal pellet gun, which was a replica of a Colt semi-automatic pistol from the scene. Robert Colvin had numerous felony convictions, including robbery, assault with a deadly weapon, and firearm possession. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department has begun a thorough and in-depth investigation. Homicide investigators will continue to investigate this incident by completing additional interviews, examining additional evidence and toxicology results, and completing forensic reviews of the involved evidence. When completed, the facts of the investigation will be presented to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office Justice System Integrity Division for review and the determination whether the force used was within the law. Following the District Attorney's review, the LA County Sheriff's Department's Internal Affairs Bureau will complete an administrative investigation of the incident. The Internal Affairs Bureau will present the case to the Executive Force Review Committee, which will evaluate the performance of the deputies and determine if their tactics and use of force were within policy and met the high standards of the Sheriff's Department. On behalf of Sheriff Alex Villanueva, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is appreciative of your interest and in understanding in this incident.